see, see Ben. I grew up racing with Ben ever since we were like nine years old. So it's kind of cool to come here and be in different roles and see him out there. And what can we look forward to with this new bike? It's, uh, some of the key chassis changes as well. The philosophy really is, is to make it more track focused but easier to ride. And that's some of the philosophies that have come down from MotoGP. You remember when Casey Stoner won the 2007 World Championship with Ducati, that bike was known to be very fast but quite a handful to manage. And over the years, it's got easier and easier to ride. And now the current GP bikes are, are seen to be the bike to jump on. Uh, and anyone can be fast on them. The racing teams, World Superbike, and also, uh, you know, the teams here in the U.S. That's kind of what goes into to into this bike. Absolutely, it's the direct relationship with Ducati Corsa and the, the team in Bologna developing the bike. They were very instrumental in many of these things, particularly with chassis technology, electronics, uh, and the MotoGP derived uh, Desma Sedici Stradale engine. Um, I mean, for example, if we want to, you know, talk about um, some of the, uh, for example, the chassis, modern tyre technology allows you to get huge amounts of lean angle, over 50 degrees, a GP 65, but as you all know, Roger, when you went over that far, uh, the suspension is really playing no part in, in the bike's uh, dynamic performance. It's all about chassis. So this new chassis that we've developed has... Uh, particularly with this double-sided swing arm we see now and, and the upper chassis as well, is they've reduced lateral rigidity by about 40%. And what this means is, from a rider point of view, you'll know, you'll, you'll feel more confidence, you'll feel more of the track, and uh, a, an overly stiff chassis, as you'll know, can, uh, can make things a little bit difficult. Um, one of the things that, of course, is let's talk about the elephant in the room. Many of the Ducatisti love that, that single-sided swing arm that's been iconic on superbikes for many generations. And it was actually Ducati Corsa that said, look, we, we have a much better solution here. So what does that mean is that this double-sided swing arm, um, symmetrical hollow design, uh, really allows us to have much more mechanical grip. And that's something the Ducati GP bikes have been known for, the way they really shoot out of the corners. So you'll have much better control under acceleration, a much better tire life, and uh, um, as you know, uh, it will be less tiring on the rider and you'll be able to accelerate harder. Ben Spees, Ben Spees then comes past me on the start and finish line. And I tell you what, he said he was gonna take it easy. Uh, he's got his knee down on the right-handers. He's got his knee down on the left-handers. It's, uh, it's, it's a bit like uh, riding a bike, you never forget. Look at this, Ben Spees then comes through this uh, very intricate middle section, uh, section. And Phil, just wanna pick up on what you said as well, the agility of this bike. I've been very fortunate enough to work with Ducati in the World Superbike Championship. And, Anything that comes out of Bologna as well, you know, is a work of art, but this bike looks trick. And with Ben Spees on it, I mean, he looks great, doesn't he? This is so, so cool to see. He is already looking really comfortable. And one of the things we also worked on was the tank design so that the rider could really in corner feel very comfortable and have a lot more braking stability with that tank, which, uh, which borrows a few of the styling designs from the 916, but uh, he's looking fantastic right now. Yeah, he's looking great. Also, too, the, the electronics that come on the Ducati is, you know, I got, I've rode the Ducati a couple of times, and the electronic stock is something that's been huge on those bikes. Absolutely. I mean, for this generation as well, we're really proud of moving this forward. We have what we call, um, the, we have now our, our Ducati Vehicle Observer System, which uses uh, pro predictive algorithms. And on the display, there it shows you the values that you're implementing in terms of tyre tire pressure, tire temperature, torque, and it gives you targets that you can aim for. It's basically telling you whether you can go faster or not. And you can look at that real time, or you can look at it back in the pits um, with the data logging system as well. You mentioned the new tank. Is that gonna be a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger than the, the previous bike? It's, it's just a new shape, really. You'll see that the top is much, from above, looks like a diamond shape, but has those very sculpted knee pads that you can really grip the tank. Um, the seat is a little bit longer as well and wider, so helping aerodynamics and, and rider comfort. So if we see him on the straight tucking in, uh, you, you'll see the benefit of that. 
Yeah, Phil, just watching uh, Ben come through then to complete this lap, obviously you've mentioned that it's great news for the fans of Moto America that uh, there's that five-year extension with the Warhorse team. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a lot of people watching, a lot of teams watching the big screens around the circuit in the paddock as well. Uh, what if uh, just a, another team wanted to come and run one of these Ducatis, uh, either this one or, or in uh, the, uh, the Supersport Championship? Uh, is there going to be support available, race packages available for other teams, or is it exclusively just for, for Warhorse? No, absolutely. I mean, we support and Ducati calls to support um, the Warhorse team, we, we, you know, with technicians. But any any uh, bona fide team can can obviously purchase that in our uh, from our race department from Ducati Corsa, and they can buy exactly the same bikes that you'll see in World Superbike and in Moto America as well. So there's no restriction on on access to the motorcycles. But obviously, we give the uh, Warhorse team a lot more of a direct contact relationship with the factory and with the support also of Paolo Ciabatti. All right, Phil, appreciate you joining us. I can't wait to see this bike uh, up close and personal on Monday. So uh, thanks for joining us. And we're going to get ready for the Super Hooligan Race coming up next, Race 1.